Hello, happy Wednesday. It's Jackie. Um, I was running late, so ooh, I got on on time. Normally, I'm like 20 minutes ahead of time preparing my kids to go away, be quiet, and they're all at school, so I have no one to blame but myself, but I was just getting dinner stuff around. Um, I'm going to get started. I am alone here today for the first time in a long time, and that's exciting to me, and um, my kids will be home. It's, they get out of school just after two, but they're riding the bus home. So I'm excited to have you guys with me. Um, happy Wednesday and I will get started. So the first question is from Vicki and she says, after your hundred hour fast, did, or I lost some pounds and did I gain them back? Um, I actually haven't weighed myself even yet. So that is, um, just, I really, I'm at a spot, I know people like the information of losing weight and that's why I shared like the difference, but I didn't do the hundred hour fast to lose weight. And I'm at a spot where I really am good. Like I feel confident and happy and I don't want to like worry about a number and my weight really, if I weigh myself regularly, I do fluctuate several pounds and even in the morning to the evening, even with my period, I just, I haven't done it because I don't really want to know. So um, I haven't weighed myself. I am certain. I mean, I guarantee you that if I did a down day and I weighed myself, that I wouldn't have the same 143. That was That's only been a low after the really long fast and then after I did keto for a month. Um, but I, I just don't want to mess with my mental state. <laughs> I feel happy where I'm at, so I'm not going to do it. Um, so I don't know. I'm sure I did. I don't know how much though. I'm, I'm certain that the entire drop in weight, is not still present. Next comment says, hello from Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Um, I don't know if you guys are just, uh, let's see, quiet today. Um, or if this is set up poorly, probably what it is because I am not the most tech loving person in the world, but I don't have any other questions. So I just thought I'd fill you guys in um, with a few things. I'm drinking my element right now. And um, I wanted to thank you guys for, uh, I think the live chat after my 72 hour fast and the 72 hour fast comments were the first ones where I was exposed to element and I'm now partnered with them, which is really excited. Um, and that's really nice. Um, okay, so all of a sudden, lots of comments are popping up. So I don't know if there's something on my end or everyone's commenting because I said there were no comments, but um, let's see. Oh, I, I posted that my chat was at 8 a.m. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Um, I probably, because I probably put the wrong time zone potentially, not realizing it, but hello. Um, so I see Lori says she loves my channel and just found it. Welcome, Lori. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to probably say this wrong, but Shashikala, hello to you too. Um, Amir wants to know what my weight is now. I The last time I weighed myself was after the 100-hour fast. It was 143 at something. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing I'm like about 147, 148, but I haven't weighed myself. Um, and I'm 5'10 for reference. I have zero chest I store all my weight in my thighs and my butt. That's I'm like tiny up here and bigger in the bottom, but that's where I'm at. Quran says, hi, Jackie, love your content. I'm planning to start alternate day fasting for the month of September. Any advice on powering through the first week? Um, so my advice would be, if you don't love it, probably don't stick with it because I think you'll burn out. I actually really like, I don't do every other day. So I like the break of a longer fast. I actually have found that I really enjoy it. So I think that's one one way that I'm able to stick with it is it's not hard for me to make the choice to do it. Um, if you find that you don't like every other day, if you're doing, if, you're, if that's the way you're planning to do it, I would kind of change it up. Maybe do a down day, an up day, and then an OMAD day. If, if it's not working, my advice is to, to try to figure it out. Because if you do a whole month of something you hate, you might end up just hating intermittent fasting altogether. Be flexible with it, I guess is my point. Um, but also, 
I one th and I know this sounds crazy. One thing that I really liked is on down days when I was learning to do them, I loved baking. So I like to bake as it is, but I really it was fun for me to make something that I could look forward to in my eating window. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but if you're someone that really enjoys food, looking up a new recipe, making it, smelling it, all of that stuff to me was still fun, even if I wasn't eating it. And then I knew I had it to look forward to. So if you're missing like food in some way, like make something to look forward to really helps me on the down days. And I actually used to do it a lot more when I was learning to do down days because it helped me to like, I always say the carrot dangled in front of me. Um, so that's my advice, but stick with it. Um, but be flexible in how you implement it. Good, good luck. Uh, let's see here. So again, sorry about the 8 a.m. snafu. Obviously my fault. Um, Idaho Jesse says, how do you deal with occasional times when you accidentally pop something in your mouth? I have only done that like once or twice um, on accident. I just keep going. I literally would just ignore it. Um, I would spit it out. The only like completely accidental thing that I did um, I went to Panera through their drive through and asked for a black coffee and they gave me Coke and I was not happy, but I love Coke. So I just, I ended up drinking it and having a longer eating window. It was like probably two hours after I closed my eating window. Um, that was the only like truly 100% accidental. Um, and I haven't ever done like cleaning up and stuck something in my mouth. I don't know why. I know that's really pretty common, but there's been times where I'm like cooking dinner and I want to taste something, but I haven't technically opened my window. I'll put it in my mouth to see if it needs more salt and spit it out. I don't do that regularly by any means, but if, if it seemed really important or it was a totally new dish or my 10 year old who is, has a wonderful palate, she's really good at seasoning things. If she's not around to try things, I've done that. And I just, I don't count it because I'm not sitting down eating food. So if I popped like a cherry tomato as I was prepping a salad in my mouth, I would just spit it out, take a swig of water and move on. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let it dictate my day. Now the Coke, I did let my window stay open later because I was thirsty and I was past the drive through and I like Coke. So I just drank it and it wasn't ruining any future plans. If it was ruining my fast for the next day, like I was two hours in and I needed to open, needed to open my window the next day, I would have just spit the Coke out, dumped it or give it to my husband and then moved on with fasting still. Um, let's see here. Susie Lewis says, hi, Jackie. Happy to catch you live. Happy to have you here, Susie. Rachel is from Wales in, in the United Kingdom. Hello to you too. Tiffany, it is worth the try. I definitely, um, I honestly, I never really considered taking electrolytes until after my 72 hour fast. And people just said that my legs were probably aching from it. And I really do notice a difference on the longer fast. And then I like to have it as I close my eating window or sometimes when I'm opening my eating window, I think it tastes really good. Um, but I definitely think it's worth trying. I haven't, I haven't tried every flavor, but I like all of them that I have tried. Um, Maria, ooh, you're brewing coffee to break your fast. That makes me think you're probably having something creamy and delicious. I am making myself an iced coffee today. I haven't had one in a long time, and it sounds so good. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Vicki asks, do I take sugar-free electrolytes? So Element is sugar-free. And um, so, yeah, I do. And then I don't know. I have Liquid IV. Um, they had sent me stuff earlier this summer. I think they have a little bit of sugar in them but both taste really good. Cynthia, do you do down days, up days, or do, or just to lose weight or is your normal, what is my normal fasting schedule? Loving your videos. So it is part of my normal fasting schedule. When I was actively losing weight and do like every week losing weight, I, it was like, I didn't do it every seven days, but every Monday through Sunday, I would do a down day and an up day. Even if even if one was on a Thursday, Friday, the next week, it might be Monday, Tuesday, whatever fit our schedule, but I did it no matter what. Um, once I stopped losing weight and I pretty much was at a plateau for a long time, I became a little bit more relaxed with it where like, I just did a down day I'm trying to think Sunday. So today's Wednesday, a few days ago. And then Monday was my up day. 
that was because I was celebrating that my kids went back to school. I was the first time I was ever without my kids and all three at school. So a friend and I, whose kids go to the same school, we went to breakfast and I wanted to do that. It felt just a good way to celebrate. And it was. Um, so I purposely did the down day then, but I don't make sure every seven day, every seven day week has an update and a down day. I do it more I really do enjoy it. I enjoy having the updates when it makes sense, when I want to eat breakfast, but I still want to go get dinner or have dinner with my kids that night. I like to have the update option. Um, so it's part of my schedule, but I'm less rigid about it now. I pretty much do OMAD every day. And then the down day update, I would say ends up being once every two weeks now, sometimes every week but I'm not super rigid and I don't really track it. Um, I try to blog about them, but I've been really bad about blogging lately. Um, but yes, when I was actively losing weight before I pretty much settled at the high 140s, low 150s, I was doing it every single week. And I do really like it. I like the flexibility. I like that it changes my eating window. I like the challenge of kind of trying to come up with 500 calorie meals. I find it fun. Um, so that's what it is. Hola, I see a hola gal um, from Niha. Uh, Michelle says, I saved her life, had to not eat for four days in a hospital for an appendectomy. Oh my goodness, hope you're doing well. And I couldn't have done it without your coaching. I survived 10 days in the hospital. That is amazing. That makes me really excited for you. And I know this is going to sound super crazy, but I we're watching 13, what are they called? I can't remember what it's called. It's about the kids that were trapped in the cave, 13 survivors or 13 trapped. I don't know what it is, but I thought, hey, I could be trapped in a cave and I would survive. Like I'd probably do better than other people because I'm pretty good at like I'm fat adapted. I can burn my body's fuel or I can burn um, digested fuel. And obviously I don't want to be trapped in a cave, but it gave me like the slightest peace of mind. Or if I have um, emergency surgery from an appendectomy, I would do okay compared to other people who are not used to not eating. Um, so I'm really glad that you're doing well and that you survived your hospital stay. Bumble says, hi, ben. hi there, Ben. Just over a week of fasting and finding your channel. Lost six pounds up to now. That is amazing. And um, I'm very happy for you, but I don't want anyone that hears or reads that to think that that is what has to happen for it to be successful. Some people don't lose weight right away, and that's okay, but congrats to you. Yay. Let's see here. If, um, if you are, okay, Angela's asking, she's curious if me or anyone else recalls smelling different when you started fasting. I um, don't know. I don't, I mean, I, I, refuse to use antiperspirant or aluminum in my body or my deodorant. So that change kind of occurred about when I started fasting because I had a really bad armpit infection from aluminum on both sides. So I probably have a little more BO than like other people, but I don't know if that it has to do with fasting. If that's what you're talking about, I just use more natural deodorants. I, right now I just started using a Thai um, deodorant stick and that's working really well, but I don't think any of my smells change from fasting. Um, I don't know. As I, or I'm thinking that's what you mean. Like that I smell, not like how I smell. I don't notice a difference there either way, but I hope others have comments for you. Harold says, hello from Washington. Did I get your beer sticker from Icicle Brewery in love in the lovely Leavenworth, Washington? I sure did, Harold. Thank you so much. Yours is the first that I opened. I've received six packages so far. I actually, I'll bring, I have them right here. It had been a little bit since I went to my post office box, but I'll share with you guys the stickers if you're interested. So there's the Pono. Uh, it's about positive thinking, I think. My daughter looked it up for me. Create positivity Pono. This is one package. Love those. Very pretty. Also, even better than stickers, some of you guys have sent really nice notes, which has been really nice. Um, healing Hot Yoga. Love that as well. From Cordelia. Oh, the first one was from... Oh, wait. 
Oh no, design. I got to see the name here. Paul. I was thinking Paul, and then I was like, am I getting that um, confused because of alliteration? And then let's see. Icicle Brewing. Thank you so much, Harold. I haven't put them on yet because I want to film it, and um, I was waiting to get a few of them to make like a TikTok, or not a TikTok, a YouTube short out of. Let's see here. Try not to sh like share other people's addresses here. I love this one. You are a warrior. That's going right on the fridge too. All of these will be right on our the kegerator outside. Um, the, oh wait, the you are a warrior is from, it came right from an Etsy shop. So I don't know if it says, it does not say who it's from, um, unless this is their actually actual um, Etsy shop. But this is from Carrie. It's from her glass workshop. How cool is that? Ignore my nails, please. I need to do them. And then finally, from Jennifer, a three pack of stickers, kimchi chic, which I'm wondering if you know this probably, but I love kimchi, spicy kimchi, so good. Um, a Japanese sticker. And then it says puppy love, save, rescue, love. How cute is that? My girls both wanted me to give them that sticker. So thank you so much for the stickers. They are going to be going on my kegerator. It has been fun opening them. And I'll share with you guys when they're on there. Um, I just wanted to have more as I could kind of think of placement. But yes, I have it. Thank you for sending that. And if anyone wants to send it to you or send it to me, this is the address you can send me a sticker and I'll put it right in my kegerator as long as it's not rude. I don't, I won't put anything rude out there. Okay. Angie says, um, I didn't make it through the long fast. I made it to 50 hours, but next time I'll add electrolytes to my longer fast. I'm going to try it again soon. Okay. First of all, 50 hours is a long fast. So congrats to you. That is amazing. Um, and I'm excited to hear how it goes. Make sure you tell me on a future live. I have a really hard time keeping everything straight. Um, so I apologize if I don't ask, but I would love to hear how your next go around goes. I do not think I'll ever do a hundred hour fast again. I missed eating. I felt really good, but it was just, especially when I have kids, maybe when my kids are out of the house someday, making the food, not eating with my family, not participating in whatever food stuff. It was a long time. Um, I'm glad I did it. I felt really good, but I don't think I'll ever do that again. But 50 hours, 50 hours is something I could do. I'll, I think 48 hours is probably my sweet spot of regular fasting. Um, Jimmy says, I love your live. Thank you. I'm a huge fan. I've been carnivore for almost two years. So far, I lost over 200 pounds. I just finished a 72 hour fast today. In your um, opinions, what is an optimal BS level? Oh, blood sugar. I don't know. I've never measured my blood sugar. So I really don't have advice on that. And I'm sorry. Um, I have from Jen Stevens heard about continuous glucose monitoring. And I'm very, very interested in doing that. But I, it's one of those things I don't know that I want to know the results because there might be foods that I eat that spike my blood sugar that I may not want to know. But I, I've never tested my blood sugar. So I don't really know anything about that. I'm sorry. Okay, Lori wants to know if I can explain down days. Sure. So, oh, I see my mom's on here. That comment just came. So she's on and she's a moderator. So you better be good because my mom will take care of you if not. Um, <clears throat> so a down day is highly flexible. And this is just how I do it. You can do it where from the time you close your in eating window the day prior you fast the entire next day, and then you open your, that would be a down day where you eat nothing. That is how I do it sometimes, but not often. And then there's also some people, they call it a modified alternate day fast or a down day, and you eat up to a certain amount of calories in a single meal. So the way that I personally do it, um, and this was based on the early books that I read, Jen Stevens' Fast Feast Repeat, and then I think I'm going to mess it up. The Fast Diet by Dr. Michael Mosley. I think I have those two paired correctly. He shared about 500 calorie days where you eat a little bit 
it's basically like a bridge. The way I think of it is it bridges my fast. It's a small meal to get me to my next eating window. And I eat 500 calories. Now, Dr. Mosley and someone very graciously sent me this book. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I have enjoyed it. He has kind of bumped up his recommendation to 800 calories and still found that it's successful. Um, but I'm so set in doing 500 calories that I've never adjusted or played around with it. Um, but I eat a single meal. I still do my at least my 18-hour fast. I eat a single meal of 500 calories or less. And then I fast at least 18 hours again. That is what a down day is. I don't eat or drink anything outside of that small window, 500 calories. And it kind of, some people get a little up in arms when I share them because I often have things like a diet Coke in it or a diet Dr. Pepper or zero calorie drinks because it adds more flavor. It adds, it makes me feel like I'm eating more. And then the, it's not all raw vegetables. Sometimes it is, but... I'm not, I'm not going for like a perfect meal. I'm just going for a 500 calorie meal that I will enjoy that'll leave me satiated. And then I will fast at least 18 hours. And the point of doing a down day is then it's followed by an up day. So you're kind of, um, fast face repeat, by the way, has an entire chapter on this, which is where I got my basis for doing this. But basically you're eating little and then intentionally eating more the next day. Um, some people compare it to carb cycling, which I've never done, but where you eat a little of something one day and then you eat a lot the next day, it kind of gets your body in a guessing game. It gets it out of a rhythm because even with intermittent fasting, if you ate the same four hours every day, your body could adapt to that. And it's, it'll say, oh, I know I'm going to eat at 4 p.m. I don't need to go eat fat. I'm going to just wait here and wait for the next meal. It comes every day at the same time. It'll get in a rhythm. Well, down days and up days... Um, it can extend your fast or excuse me, extend your fat burning. It can keep your body out of getting in a rut and, uh, it can increase your autophagy. It's a, like I said, it kind of bridges two longer fasts. So then you're getting back into fat burning and into your, um, the levels where you're reaching autophagy, recycling your old cells. And it just gives you all the benefits of a longer fast while still, well, most of the benefits of a longer fast while still getting some sort of a meal. I like to eat every day, so that's why I choose to do them. And then the important thing about doing a down day is that you make sure you're eating more the next day. So my updates, again, following Jen Stevens' advice from Fast Feast Repeat is at least a six-hour eating window and at least two meals. So basically for me, it looks like at least lunch and dinner. And I usually snack more just because I have a longer eating window and I like to eat. I end up snacking. But my up day on Monday, I opened with breakfast at 8.30 in the morning and I didn't close my window until I had uh, Kahlua and cream after dinner. It was a longer day. It was my kid's first day of school. And I didn't want to not eat dinner, but I also wanted to go to breakfast. So I didn't really limit myself and I enjoyed my up day. It was different than normal but it was because I intentionally made the sacrifice of a down day. So that's what I do. That's how I do it. There's lots of ways you could do an 800 calorie meal. You could just have nothing. There's lots of ways to implement it. Um, let's see. Susie said she just went to Chicago um, visiting her daughter and found fasting to be so easy. Took all the thought out of the day. They had dinner together each day. It used to be traveling days as my favorite part of the, or use my traveling days as part of my fast. That is amazing. Um, I actually find the same thing. When we travel frequently to Baltimore, my daughter sees a medical specialist out there. And when she, when we travel, I used to have, we still pack a lot of car snacks for my daughter, my husband, and if my other kids come, but I used to eat so much on the way there and dinner when we got there. Now I actually enjoy fasting the entire time. I feel really good. And then we get to enjoy whatever Baltimore dinner I don't normally get to have here in Michigan. We have a few spots that we like to go to. We, I fully enjoy the meal and I like it a lot more when I didn't snack on all the processed junk out there. And it's actually makes traveling a lot easier fasting. So I'm glad you found the same thing. Um, Amir says, you think I gained some weight now? Probably. Um, okay. Jimmy says, by the way, hi from Chicago. 
Hello from Chicago. We're not too far away. I'm in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, Michelle asked if I have a link for electrolytes. Yes, I do. Um, I don't have it. I don't know what it is offhand, but they, the link gives you like a sample pack of all their flavors with any purchase. So I will put that in the comments after this. Um, my mom said hello. Just got there. Uh, Nicola Wood says, hi, Jackie. Do you use the Zero app right now? Yes, I do. Do I pay for the premium service? No, I've never done that. Um, and, oh, she says it's the best random click of her life that I've changed her life. That honestly makes me excited. And I love, I love it when people tell me they very randomly found it and that they weren't considering intermittent fasting. Or on my other channel where I grocery shop, they say, um, they just, I, every once in a while, as I talk about my meals and what I'm going to make or what I'm grocery shopping for, I'll mention fasting and just briefly say I have another channel. Some people have come over and I think that's really cool. I just, I literally just want the world to know about intermittent fasting as an option. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to do it. I just want you to know it exists. Um, let's see. Ky or Kayla says, I know you don't count calories, but do you think you eat a cal or in a calorie deficit because you're shorting shorter eating windows and that she tends to binge if not counting calories? I, it's so hard because I eat the same foods and I still ate a lot. I, I'm in a calorie deficit compared to what I was. Am I in a calorie deficit? compared to like calorie recommendations for someone my size every day. I really don't know. And I think there are some days like yesterday I ate in a one hour eating window. I didn't eat. I ate while I was making dinner. I ate dinner and then I had two cookies after dinner, but it was all in a short time period. It was a lot of food, but it was all in a short time period. So I don't think I'm probably in a calorie deficit every day. But I also know that I spend most of my time not eating. So I think it's a balance of the two. It's a balance of the fasting. And some days I'm sure are calorie deficits. But I don't I don't intentionally eat at a calorie deficit. Um, and I would just be careful because if you have a true binge tendency, um, fasting isn't recommended for people, from my understanding, that have eating disorders. So if you have like true disordered eating, just be very careful and maybe talk with like your primary care physician. I don't have advice on that. I just understand that it's maybe not the answer for some people. So just be careful. Uh, Mary Beth Ryan, do you really need a keto meter? No, I don't think people need that. I do it because I like to share information and I found it extremely interesting to compare when I wasn't doing keto and when I was doing keto and I liked to take the blood results and just see, um, I saw that I definitely got into ketosis a lot faster when eating a keto diet. Um, but I also saw that I was in ketosis without doing a keto diet, but I saw that for my personal body, I didn't reach it until about hours 20, 21, 22. Um, but I don't think anyone needs to have that. I just like to share the information. I don't think anyone needs to do that to, find success in fasting. It just is a tool. Um, Alexa says, I just hopped on here. So sorry if this has already been answered. Do you suggest counting calories when beginning OMAD? Alexa answers, contributing, My Alexa went off hearing me say Alexis. Um, I've been doing OMAD for six days. I make my eating window anywhere between, uh oh, the rest of your comment. I'm trying to find it down here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I can't see the rest of the comment, but I don't suggest counting calories, especially at the beginning. And my personal reasoning for that is when you are beginning intermittent fasting, I just, for me personally, I know I become overwhelmed. I burn out if I become diet obsessed. So I've done everything from Weight Watchers. I've done diet vets and then strictly calorie counting and doing beach body stuff. And I can do it really, really well, but then I burn out. And then I say, screw it. I'm done with that. Well, I feel like it would be the same way for me personally. If I'm learning intermittent fasting, I, I don't need to also worry about calorie counting. I just want to become good at fasting. Otherwise, I would hit the same burnout. So I never counted calories except for on my 500 calorie down days. And that felt very intentional, short-term sacrifice. And then I'd have the 
the benefit of the longer fast. Um, but it was never something where I did or would recommend. If you think you need it or you think it's something that would be beneficial to you, then by all means, it's just not something I wanted to do. Um, I Okay, Cynthia says, Lumi is a great all-natural deodorant. I did not like it whatsoever. It did not work well for me, like not even a bit. My mom got it for me and my siblings. Um, my sister and I, neither of us worked, it worked well on, but I know a lot of people actually really like it. Kathy Ann says, I'm 24, but get so nauseated in the last couple hours. Help. Eee. I don't get nauseated, so I don't really know. Um, I don't have any advice for that, to be honest. I would wonder, are you eating enough? Are you getting like enough food in, in your four hours? Um, not everyone has as large of an appetite in a short eating window like I do. So maybe you need to have some longer eating windows that might help. Um, or not doing 24 every day, but I, I don't have any nause, like nausea to give you experience on, but hopefully someone else in the comments maybe can help with that. Um, Nicole says Zeno is mine. I don't know what that's um, in relation to. I'm sorry. Let's see. Veronica says, I'm new to your channel, but I did know and practice alternate day fasting and OMAD. I lost 10 pounds of ADF and and kind of had a little break only eating two meals a day and was able to maintain for a few months back to OMAD. You know, I think it's amazing to, to um, shake it up. So good for you. I like OMAD so much that I don't, it's not something I'm sticking with because I feel like I have to, I just like it. And then if there are days where I truly want to eat two meals, I do it. But I almost always think OMAD is the one for me because I really just enjoy that one meal I have every day. Where did you get the cup you use? I see in your videos with my name on it. Oh, I get that. I got that from someone, um, her Instagram handle. I have to look at the bottom of the cup. Let me see here. I have it at my coffee bar. Um, so Southern Sparkle Tumblers. I don't know if she still is making them, but this she had this as, as a Mother Day sale um, two years ago. I actually, this is my third one from her, but she'll make custom ones. But this one she just had, and then you could add your name to it. And then she put glitter all over it. But I love it. It works so well. Of course, it's hand wash only. But on Instagram, Southern Sparkle Tumblers. Her name's Brittany. It takes forever to get them. She is not super timely, but her stuff is really high quality. Da, 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 da. Janet McBurney um, says she started intermittent fasting on July 19th at 2.44, transitioned to OMAD on 7.12, and it was 2.31.4 today. Um, I think I'm confused on your dates, but congrats on going down. That is amazing. Yay, Janet. Sunkiss TMH says um, five days into OMAD. Congrats. If you just keep going, you'll never have to start at day one again. And that would be amazing because days one through probably about four were the hardest for me. I don't, I didn't document at the beginning because I never thought I'd share fasting. Um, but congrats. Five days in is a nice chunk. Um, someone sharing their thoughts on blood sugar. Joy says hello from Texas. Hello, Joy. April City Girl to Country Wife, love the name, says, I just discovered your channel. I've been watching a lot of your old videos. I've been doing intermittent fasting for over a month, and I've gotten some tips. She's trying now. Well, congrats. I hope um, you enjoy the information, and um, I am excited that you're part of the channel now. Do, 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 do. Hello, glad I'm here. Uh, Yaniris. You're Yaniris? Sorry, I know I say these horrible, horrible, but I do try. Um, I'm here. I always at work. I'm always at work and miss your lives. Well, I'm glad you're here. Or are you watching at work on your phone? Just kidding. Um, funny story. I went to the zoo this weekend, and there was this young girl at the camel station, and my older daughter wanted to ride the camel because who wouldn't, but we went up there and we were standing there for a good, like three minutes. And I couldn't tell if the girl was like working or on her phone. And finally some older zoo lady was like, get off your phone. You have customers. And the girl looked like she saw a ghost. It was actually pretty hilarious. Um, 
but she was in a, she was in her own world. Um, anyways, Vicky says, do I drink apple cider, um, diluted with water? I'm guessing you mean apple cider vinegar and I do not. I've never had that. Um, no, I've never looked into it or done it. Um, Meredith asks or says, you have inspired me to change my lifestyle to intermittent fasting, which has been much easier than anticipated. Have been at it for about a month and I feel great and I'm so grateful for you. Oh, thank you for sharing that. I 100% understand that it's amazing how easy the transition can feel because I put off starting intermittent fasting because I was just thinking I was signing up for a life of doom and gloom. It didn't seem reasonable. Um, it was just another avenue to pursue. And I am so, so glad that you found the same freedom and um, that you were as encouraged as I was at the beginning. So congrats. Uh, Stephanie says, I've been wondering about sagging sick from weight loss. Do you mean skin? I don't have sagging skin other than on my stomach. Um, I actually get asked that and I just have to get the guts to make a video about it. But I, one thing that I really, really hope autophagy, um, takes care of or helps me with is sagging skin on my stomach. I'll be making a video on that. And I've actually taken pictures at random times just to see if there's a difference. Um, losing weight, that's actually one of the only things I don't like is that my stomach skin is exaggerated the more weight that I lose. Um, but that's where I have saggy skin. I don't have it elsewhere. Um, I just don't, I, I didn't ever have like such a significant weight to lose and I'm 5'10", so losing 35 pounds on me, it's spread on a lot more than um, a smaller frame, but I don't know if others have um, advice, but my saggy skin on my stomach is still there, but that's all pregnancy related. Um, it definitely was less saggy though when I was heavier. What is the fast tracker watch that you use? So I use the zero app, the free version, and then I have an Apple watch. So it's compatible. Um, I just have it in my watch app on my phone. I just select the zero app and it's compatible. And it's literally my favorite thing about my Apple watch. It is the best. Um, Priscilla says, hi from San Diego. Hello. Currently fasting and reading Fast Feast Repeat because of you. Thank you for your channel and sharing information. Thank you for the encouragement, Priscilla, and congrats. I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, Danny said, iced coffee shows 15 calories a serving for St black Starbucks brand. Yeah, um, coffee does have calories, black, whether it's iced or not. And at the beginning, I was kind of worried about that as well. I don't even consider it. Even when I do 500 calorie meals, I don't count my calories of coffee. It's um, because of its bitter taste, same with tea. That's why it really doesn't spike insulin or cause any sort of a response in your digestion, which is my understanding of it. I ignore the calorie or I, I don't ignore it like I don't acknowledge that they're there. I just don't consider it or worry about them. Let's see. Stephanie says, thank you so much for Washington guessing that meant something else. <laughs> I'm on day 55 and feeling great. Congrats. And I'm excited for you. Day 55. That's a nice chunk. You, you are on a good start. Um, Susie says, I know this may sound strange, but I almost feel relief once I close my window, no more decisions. I'm with you. I actually like starting my fast. I don't really ever feel like I'm missing out or here we go again. And I think that just goes to show the power of the lifestyle is you get very adapted and you feel very good. So I don't think that sounds weird. I totally understand what you're saying. Um, Muff1708 says, loved my 100-hour vlog. Thank you. Um, thanks for sharing the journey. I happen to be doing a five-day fast mimicking. Um, would love if there was a comp study. Okay, so you, so for five days, 115 hours, you ate 700 calories a day. Hmm. Um, if I'm understanding you right, you're wondering like if I'd be willing to do the same thing and compare it to the 100 hours, hmm, I'd have to consider that. I feel like I'd be able to do that. Um, 500 calories, or excuse me, 700 calories five days in a row. I usually like my 500 calorie meals, so, so 700 would be easier, and I'm pretty good at making them delicious. 
Wow, that'd be interesting. I'll think on that. And if I'm totally misunderstanding what you mean by a comp study and you're not talking about me, I'm still going to think about doing it myself because that would be interesting. I've never considered doing so many down, like in my mind, it'd be five down days in a row. Hmm, that sounds good. Let's see here. So thanks for the idea. I actually need to write that down so I don't forget. And on top of that, I'll also write down to share the element link. Share element link. Five down days. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, Maria says, done counting calories, never again. I'm with you, Maria, except for down days. But I like those. So it's not something I feel restricted and that I have to do. Um, Lindsay said, I've lost 30 pounds since June 4th after watching your videos and reading Jen's books. Thank you. Thank you. That is amazing. That is, that is so awesome. And that was not that long ago. So congrats to you. Um, okay. So uh, Lisa is saying that nausea means that you need more salt, magnesium, potassium, which are pretty much what's in electrolyte mixes. So maybe try that. I, like I said, I don't have any experience with that. So I'm sorry. Um, Kayla says, thank you. I've been counting calories for five months, two months of which we're fasting now. It, and it's working, but wanted to switch um, to not counting, just worried I'll gain it back. I feel like there are days 100% that I overdo it. However, I don't feel good when I overdo it. And I feel like because of the feeling, I'm less likely to continue repeating that behavior, if that makes sense. Um, but again, play around and like one day, if you met, if you do something and you try for a week of not calorie counting and you see it's not working for you, that's not going to mess you up in the long run. Like you can um, continue to, uh, uh oh, I saw one sign that says lost you. I hope my connection did not go out. Um, but you can continue to make changes. And if something doesn't work, like change it again. Sharon says, hello, or hey, y'all from the SIP, Mississippi. I love it. So I'm going to call Mississippi that from now on. I've been intermittent fasting since July 1st and lost 12 pounds, 20-hour fasting window, four-hour eating window. Well, welcome, Sharon, um, from the mitten. There I am. But that is amazing. That That is my ideal in my mind, 20-hour fast, four-hour eating window is very enjoyable to me. So we're fasting twins. Oh, Xena, warrior princess. Yes. Sorry. I didn't make the connection. I should have. But yes, there I am. Um, let's see here. Beth Snyder says, I signed up for a sipping club at Panera. They gave you a month free. I love the Panera Sips Club. Literally my favorite. You guys know that. I have no affiliation. I actually did email them asking if they'd sponsor me. Never heard back. Come on, Panera. But I have so many people that have signed up for um, the Panera Sips Club because I love it so much and I just share it. It's perfect for faster. So if you're unaware, I've been doing it for so long that I actually have the cheapest price they started with. Um, it's only $8.99 for me, but I think it's $10.99 now a month. But I can go there all day, every day, every two hours and get uh, sparkling water. I can get um, iced tea, iced coffee, black tea or not black tea, um, black hot coffee. And they have, um, dark roast, light roast, and then decaf are the three that I drink, but I love it so much. I go all the time. I have a Panera very close to me, which obviously makes it easy, but if you, it saves me money on my coffee. I spend less on the, co the coffee subscription than two bags of coffee. And it saves me at least that. So there's my little Panera plug, but I'm glad you like it, Beth. Let's see. Victoria says, I need opinions. I've been doing intermittent fasting continuously for seven weeks, 20 hours fasting. I do love OMAD, but I'm surprised the slow weight loss, but I can't even handle that. What really bothers, whoops, I have to go. Next one. Jolie says, hello from the Netherlands. Hello. So I'm back to um, Victoria. What bothers me is I don't feel good as others say they do. I'm tired, don't sleep good. I feel like I eat plenty. I'll hang in there, but just frustrated. Man, let's see. You're seven weeks in. Hmm. That 
definitely doesn't sound like my experience. And I really wish it was different for you. Um, because I know, I know for a fact by seven weeks, I was feeling really good and sleeping better. Um, huh. I don't, I really don't know what to, to suggest to you because 20 hours is a nice long fast. Um, four hours isn't a super long eating window. Um, have you tried electrolytes or even adding salt into your water? I don't know. It sounds like, um, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Um, sorry. It sounds like others maybe feel nauseated from electrolytes. Again, not my experience. I really, I don't have any thoughts for you. Um, but I'm really bummed for you that that's the way you're feeling because seven weeks is a really good run. And that's a, a lot of time into trying something and it may be not working well for you every day. Um, but if others have advice, I'd be curious what it is. And I'm sorry, I don't have any. So, um, Stefan asked, what's the difference between a 16 and an 18 hour fast currently doing 16, but want to get to eight. So that kind of depends on each individual. Um, going back to taking like my key ketone readings with a meter, I, for curiosity's sake, would take my ketone reading at 16 hours and then again at 18 hours. And I definitely, from my blood tests, showed that I was in greater ketosis the further I fast. So you're probably burning fat at a faster rate the longer you fast. Um, so that's two additional hours of greater fat burning at a higher rate. You're also going to get the benefits of autophagy. Um, also, you're going to have two hours less that you're eating, likely. And that for me is, well, I can eat a lot in two hours. So a six hour eating window versus um, an eight hour eating window for me personally would be, I'd eat, be eating a lot more. Um, and if you want to move up to 18 hours, don't ever feel like it has to be a really quick jump. You don't have to go from 16 to 18. You could go 16 hours and 15 minutes. And then when you're used to that, do 16 hours and a half and continue on. So I definitely think it's worth trying. Um, but don't feel like you have to go fast. And I do think there's benefits in the longer fasting though, especially from someone like me that eats a lot in a short period. It helps me to not have eight hours of eating. I can do a lot of damage in eight hours. Charlene says, um, she, sure, she just is getting to the tail end of the chat. Now, Wednesdays, I have my six-month-old grandbaby. Aw. But she still likes to catch up with, with what other peeps I have going on. Well, congrats on watching your grandbaby every Wednesday. That's fun. Okay, Lisa has some advice for Victoria. She's saying, change your times, eat more colorful, drink more water, whatever. If you aren't getting enough nutrients, you'll feel tired all the time. Yeah, so that is a really good point. It could, you might be eating enough, but are you eating enough of the right things? I think I heard on Jen's podcast that she tries to eat 23, or it's said to, and this may have been her or someone else. You're supposed to eat like 23 or 32 colors every week. And I like to think of that. I'm trying to eat colors all the time. Um, but I think that's a really good point. Like, is the quality of your food? Are you getting enough nutrients to take care of yourself well? Um, someone else, Priscilla, has um, ideas for the nausea. Her body does the same. She's able to overcome it by starting with small fasts and then building up to longer ones. Yeah, you might have to do adjusting like that. That's true. Um, Cynthia says she celebrated a year in fasting lifestyle and that she enjoys it. Um, yeah, she would stick to new diets for a few weeks and then give up. So it's huge for her to be at a year. Yeah, that's that was me. I never in my life did... Um, anything for over two years successfully. And then, I mean, one, I never even got to two years and then two maintaining a weight loss and three have no end in sight. I'm not sitting here going, Oh, when is this going to be over? When can I quit? So that's amazing. And I love hearing others have the same success. Priscilla said she would start with a 12 hour fast and then add an hour every few days. Now I'm up to a 48 hour fast and taking low sodium salt and a shot of water helps. That's awesome. A shot of salt water. Maybe I'll have to try that sometime. I've never done that. 
um, Carissa's Corner says, hey, she's loving OMAD, but noticing if I overeat and feel too full at my meal, I gain weight every single time. And that is one of the reasons I stopped weighing myself because some meals are worth the temporary weight gain. I mean, I, and maybe you're actually losing weight every meal, but, or actually gaining true weight every meal, but I doubt it. Um, I just couldn't, I didn't like to deal with ever once I hit the plateau and I wasn't losing weight every week. I didn't like to see my weight jump up and then jump down and think, Oh, I shouldn't eat this again. I didn't need those thoughts, but it can be frustrating. Let's see. Sharon says my weight loss has been slow, even on 20 hour daily fasting, but I'm hanging in there because I feel so much better. I really do hope Victoria, you get to a point where you feel better because that is, that has staying power. If even if you're not losing the weight, we all hit a point where there's probably a plateau where you've lost all your weight. If you feel good, it's going to hook you. So I hope you can play around and find that. Um, Gracious says, love your channel. First time getting into the live from Hawaii. Thanks for doing these chats. Thanks for joining. And um, hello from Hawaii. I have a dream that someday my husband and I will go to Hawaii. Heck, I'll go by myself. But he doesn't like the thought of flying to Hawaii. I need to go, though. Man says, yeah, I finally caught you live. Love the video with your dad. Haven't been doing good this month with intermittent fasting, but ready to dive in in September. My always encouragement is just remember everyone sleeps. So you're at least fasting every day. So don't tell yourself that you fell off. You just have had longer eating windows and that's okay. So get back at it in whatever way you want, but you haven't given up. Um, and thank you. I liked doing the video with my dad. That was fun. Carissa says she loves my channel. Thank you. And what autumn food and drinks do I love? I love apple cider. I love all apple desserts. I'm actually making an apple pie this week. And then I really love um, pumpkin pancakes. We make them every fall. I think I even made it earlier this summer, but I make pumpkin pancakes. Um, and then I make a pecan praline, basically like a caramel sauce. And it is such a decadent, delicious meal with bacon. It's so good. Those are my favorite fall foods. Oh, and pumpkin pie. Like, obviously. Love pumpkin pie. Um, Angela says, hi from Louisiana. I'm on day 18. Thanks for watching your channel. And I've been reading Fast Feast Repeat. I already have more energy and have been sleeping through the night most nights. Yay. Yay. I'm so glad. I think I said Angela, um, but I think you're Angel A. And so I'm sorry I messed that up. Um, Danny said, did... Did you or would you consider doing a modified ADF challenge? I have not done one and I would consider doing it. Um, I'd be interested in information. So feel free to email me or contact me through um, my website. Sometimes my website emails get sent to junk and I never see them. So I'm sorry if that happens because I get a lot of spam through there. But feel free to email me um, what you're thinking and I would love to consider it. Um, Jenny says, how do you stay motivated? I, my thing is, and I feel bad saying this, I just feel amazing. Like by comparison, it's very easy because I get to my OMAD and I really enjoy the dinner. So like tonight we're having Greek chicken bowls. I'm not going to worry about how much rice goes in my bowl or how much dressing goes on my bowl. Or did I put too much excuse me, too much feta cheese or olives on there. I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm just going to enjoy the dinner. I'm going to build the bowl exactly like I like it. And when I compare that to every single meal that I ate three times a day before I found intermittent fasting, that mental burden isn't there of, okay, well, I'm only going to put two olives on because I know they're high in fat and I don't want to eat too many of them. And then eat a quasi version of the meal that I'd really like to enjoy. And I don't have to worry about that anymore. And that's my motivation. I get to enjoy every single meal every day, how I want to. And I simply like it. And so that helps me to do it every day. I know every day I'm going to get to enjoy the eating window. Sure. I'm not eating most of the day, but I'm not fretting about it. I'm not feeling like I'm denying myself or depriving because I have that meal every day that I love. It really does feel easy for me. It took adjusting for it to feel easy, but that's my motivation. Um, let's see. Victoria's saying thank you for the tips and that she's going to try um, try to switch things up. Good luck. Please report back. 
Um, Lisa says I do between 16 to 18 hours fasted. It works for my life right now. Maybe I'll do 20 to 24 when I have six months under my belt. Um, weight is up and down two pounds for three weeks, but I still feel good. So I go on. I think that's the best way to do it is I wouldn't 100% like, like cancel doing it. If your weight has gone up the weight loss, I think will come, but if you're feeling good, like ride that feeling. And congrats. Um, Victoria said that she needs to put the scale away. I know it was important to me. I mean, it was very motivating at first, and I did track, but um, I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore every day. Maria says, this is for Victoria. Oh, so some Victoria chatter. Um, Ryan of Intermittent Fasting with Ryan says, hello. Thanks for stopping by, Ryan. Obviously, I love your channel too. You're almost at 100,000 and that's amazing. Can't wait to join you there. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Uh, Lisa says, I can't wait for maintenance so I can just toss my scale. That was very freeing. Um, I, did, I will say I thought maintenance would be a little lower for me, but I'm not willing to change or diet. So once I got to where I am and I realized I wasn't going to go lower without making drastic changes... It was very nice to not feel like I was weighing myself every single day. <sighs> so I hope you find the same freedom. Priscilla asked if I'm part of Jen's online paid subscription. Um, no, I'm not. I have no, um, I have no experience with it. I know a lot of people seem to like it. I was on the Facebook groups and I really like that, but I'm on Facebook for other things. So it was nice that it was a part of something I was already on. And between YouTube and some Amazon stuff I'm doing, I just have very, very little time. So I didn't, I personally chose not to spend the money because I didn't think I would need another thing to go on to basically, but I have no experience with it. Um, let's see here. Karen says she's a member and it's hundred percent worth it. I don't doubt it. I think Jen has wonderful, um, advice, wonderful communities. I was really sad the Facebook groups went away. So that's good to know. Um, Victoria, again, thanking people for ideas. Angel says Greek chicken bowls sound delicious. I am so excited. I have the chicken marinating. I'm going to grill it. And then we have, I made a kale and cabbage salad, which we had at my friend's house, cauliflower rice, rice, feta cheese, cucumbers, grape tomatoes, um, Kalamata olives, Greek dressing, which I probably won't use. Um, I did that more for my vegetarian daughter because she won't have like the juicy flavored chicken. Um, probably croutons. I don't know if that's very Greek, but my kids, I know will like them. But we're going to build build your own bowl because I'm a vegetarian, a quasi-vegetarian, and we all like different things. So build yourself meals work really well for us. And I cannot wait. Um, let's see. Carol reminds Victoria that everybody is different. There could be healing going on. So focus on health and not weight loss. I definitely agree. Um, and then Nan echoed that Ryan is amazing. Yes, he is. Again, his channel is Intermittent Fasting with Ryan. He shares a lot of um, what I eat in a day. So he does a lot of shorts. I actually, he's my shorts idol. I need to be like him and share more. They take a lot of time. Um, but yes, I love Ryan too. Um, he and I, I think are the same age, both have two kids and, um, like do it as a family person. So I, I very much relate to his content. Let's see. Jenny says I've been in 24 for 120 days and lately I've been stressing over the foods I eat. So I tried cleaning up my, or I've been stressing over the foods I eat. So I've cleaned up my diet, but just stressed myself out about the whole thing even more. I, that is why I share what I eat is not because I know I'm not a perfect eater and I know my diet could be much more clean than it is, but I want it, I want to share that I am able to still find success and find benefits as someone who hasn't conquered the perfect eating. And I would feel the same way. I would be so stressed in my eating window and how like for me personally, I can't see myself looking forward to an eating window. If within my eating window, I'm counting every calorie and every single day I feel restricted or I can't enjoy stuff. 
it just wouldn't work for me. And so I'm naturally changing what I'm eating and it's very slow. I know that, but I'm making better decisions than I was two years ago eating wise. And it's in a shorter time frame. So I'm okay with the slow growth, the slow progress. And I don't think you have to have a perfect diet to benefit from intermittent fasting. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, Lisa loves the empty feeling when she goes to bed. I'm not hungry, but just light because I'm eating from 7 a.m. to noon, um, moving in an hour depending on my son's activities. I love how I feel, not yucky, not heavy. I get that feeling when I wake up. I feel the lightness, um, and I definitely agree that it's nice to have that feeling. I would really probably enjoy your eating window 7 a.m. to noon. That just sounds really hard with kids. And I love having dinner with my family, but I think it's awesome that you, you know what works for you and you're doing it. Um, Victoria asks if I pay for extra on the zero app. Um, I've never paid. I actually went to, to buy it to consider because I get asked this question a lot, what I use and if I use the free version, but it's $70 a year and I, I like it free. So no. I don't. Let's, so I, it was not worth me, my curiosity. I thought maybe like I'll pay for a $5 app, but I couldn't do that. Um, more love for Ryan. What did I marinate the Greek chicken in? So I will also link this in the pinned comment, my recipe. Um, it's not mine. I pinned it, but it's a pinned recipe for Greek chicken bowls. I'm only copying exactly what her Greek chicken is. Um, but she used white wine vinegar. I didn't have that. So I used red wine vinegar, olive oil, thyme, oregano, garlic powder, lemon juice, and minced garlic, I think, black pepper and salt. I think that's what I did. Um, I don't know if it is, um, a hundred percent legitimate Greek because I have no Greek heritage whatsoever. I'm just copying someone's Pinterest recipe. It smells amazing. And then I use chicken breasts and I took all the fat off them and I trim them so they're thin because we are babies when it comes to meat. So we like thin chicken. Uh, let's see here. Um, but I'll link it in a pinned comment when I'm done here. Jenny says, I'm more successful when I wasn't worrying about the types of food I eat during my eating window and made healthier choices when I didn't feel like I was forcing myself to. Amen. That's exactly what it is for me. Um, and I see here, Ryan says, our fasting backgrounds are very similar. Yes, I think they very much are. And that less stress equals more consistency. That is exactly right. If I, I can be committed and I can stay with it because it's enjoyable. If I'm stressing about it, it's going to become overwhelming. So, yay. Gabby July says, I have a question. I have medication prescribed by my doctor. It's for sleep. Do you know if it breaks my fast when I take it at 10 p.m.? I know you're not a doctor, but maybe you have an idea. Um, obviously, I don't know about that particular medication. Um, I know that when I had my tonsils out in December, I had medication. My doctor told me to take it with food, and I kind of pushed a little bit and said, do I really have to? And he said, actually, no, you don't. It's just it might make you nauseous, so just be aware. And I took um, my pain medicine without and my steroid without food. But I did that after talking to my doctor. So did it cause my insulin to spike? I don't know. I didn't worry about it because recovery and taking care of the health needs was more important to me than perfection in my past. But I did talk to my doctor about it. So I don't know if you need something. Um, if you do, you can move your eating window. But I would definitely talk to your doctor. Um, but if it's okay to take without eating, I wouldn't worry about it. I would take it without eating and not worry whether it's going to be a little bit of a break in your fast. Um, let's see. Oh, Nan says that I may not be losing weight anymore, but she can tell that from when she first started watching me that my body is changing and just saying, well done. So thank you, Nan. Um, I definitely think my body is changing. Um, even though Amir says she can tell I gained weight. Oh, well, um, I look at past pictures of myself at the same weight during the fast. And I'm like, Oh, wow, I can see that I've changed here, here and here. Um, so thank you. Oh, okay. So I'm Joe. She, he says that zero had a half off special and that she snagged the premium then, 
but it's not much better. Yeah, it seems like a lot of stuff that they said was in the premium seemed to be like informational. And I don't, I like to track my fast, but I don't need to track like a million other things. Um, but thanks for the insight. Sorry, it sounds like you maybe wasted your money. Um, Janet says she tries to do keto, but have mostly eliminated sugars and simple carbs and no processed foods. I would love to eliminate processed foods. I'm not going to lie. I probably will never eliminate sugar. Processed foods are the easiest for me to think of avoiding, um, but they're definitely still in my house. But congrats. I think it's awesome. If that works for you and you can do that and it's not a huge mental burden, I think that's amazing. Um, Gabby says, thank you. And you guys, I think for the first time ever on a chat, I've gotten to the end without a question. So before someone posts one, I'm going to say thank you for joining and I'll be back next Wednesday. Um, and I didn't have a five-year-old interrupting me because he's at school. So yay. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Um, and one more comment just popped up. Cynthia says, thank, um, that's why I love your comment or excuse me, your content. And it's honest and it's helped me on the days that I don't have a great eating day. I've noticed that most days I do really well and I don't beat myself up for the bad days. That makes me so happy for you. Do not beat yourself up. Every day is going to be different. And the bad days will teach you what a good day feels like, right? So congrats. Um, I've loved doing this and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. I will have a video Saturday morning and live again next week. And I want to be more like Ryan. So I'll have more shorts coming. See you guys. Thank you so much. Doo -doo -doo -doo.